Stroll's not improving through the middle sector. So the man in 16th had a brilliant day yesterday and he needs to find something as he comes up towards the end of the lap now. He comes through and there's no improvement for Lance Stroll. Looking at the other options though, we've got Sonoda in 19th, he's on a personal best. So is Logan Sargent, so is Alexander Albon. And Yuki Sonoda is going to put big pressure on those ahead now because he's comfortably up on Esteban Ocon. This is going to be mighty close for those drivers just outside the drop zone. Ocon is also starting a flying lap. He's just left the pits, done an outlap, and now he'll give it a go. And everyone in the drop zone is improving apart from Stroll. Yellow flag in the first part of the lap. Norris goes up to second position. Yuki Sonoda finds a time. Esteban Knock on off the road and into the barrier. The driver who was pushing on, trying to improve, and he finds himself in the barrier and knocked out in the first part. And there's Fernando Alonso, the car sparking. He's got a problem with the front left. He's got a puncher again. And a blue Alpine just clatters into the side of him. Extraordinary stuff, so unusual. Yeah, so he's got way out of shape, and that's why ah, he's headed go. towards Alonso. Okay, mate, you okay? Idiot, Fernando. <laughs> yeah, a lot of damage, I guess. He went to me, I think. Ocon and Alonso, who weren't exactly on the best of terms here last year, well, those terms get a little bit worse. I also think Esteban will change his opinion once he sees the replay. It is fantastically close. A session of fine margins. Verstappen improves his time. He's now three tenths of a second clear of the field. Bottas, though, over the line with a very handy seventh place. And it's right on the cusp of the projected knockout time. He's given himself an opportunity, though, for his first SQ3 appearance of the season. Sonoda goes sixth. That is a tidy lap by the young Japanese driver, crucially ahead of Hulkenberg, crucially ahead of Bottas. And now we put the emphasis on Daniel Ricciardo, one of the stars of the Mexico City Grand Prix. Tough day yesterday. Is it a better day today? He is second fastest. That's a great lap when he needed it. He's the first car across the line. Norris and the two Mercedes now in the drop zone. And look at those Mercedes. They're not improving on this lap just yet. Hamilton's first sector is not good. Russell's is even slower. OK, good middle sector for Lewis Hamilton. He needed it. He's being compared to Pierre Gasly, the driver who improved up to 10th. Perez goes fastest over the line ahead of Max Verstappen by three hundredths of a second. But what about Lewis Hamilton? Needs a lap, finds a lap time when it was so, so important for him. Now a question for Lando Norris. Now a question for George Russell. Both on personal bests and they need it. Hulkenberg is the driver at risk. That's a good time for George Russell. It's fifth place for George Russell. Hulkenberg finds himself down in 11th. Lando Norris is the fastest driver out there, delivering under pressure. Four hundredths of a second separating the top three. Gasly eliminated, Bottas out. Alonso didn't take part and the two Hasses, Magnussen just ahead of Hulkenberg. And it was mighty tight at the front of the field. Everyone appears to have found themselves a private part of the racetrack. Game on then. As we attack the circuit, Oscar Piastri, the first McLaren to go, has loved this format, is a race winner in this format, has taken a shootout, has taken a sprint. DRS open, down to turn number four. First car to attack the racetrack. 18-5 for him in the first sector. Norris did an 18-6, and he's clearing George Russell, who will be the last car to set a time. Tenth and a half up for Piastri then, feeling the grip. There's a little bit more with these Red Bull soft tyres. It's coming to the drivers now. Verstappen is quicker than Piastri in the first sector by just half a tenth. It's pretty close there with Piastri and Verstappen. Norris a bit slower in the top three here. Middle sector is where the drivers will show the capability of their cars. And then the final sector, just a flat out run to the line. All about your exit from the corner that Piastri is heading to. It was a spin in strange conditions here one day ago. Correction as well as he tries to apply the power. He now goes up through the gears, takes it to the line. Norris is quicker than his teammate through the middle part of the lap. We'll get a comparison with Max Verstappen in a few moments time. Piastri to set a time on the board. It's a 1-11-1. Norris, Perez going quicker. Verstappen's middle sector is not magic. Norris goes to the top. What about Max? So Norris hits the front of the field, goes past Oscar Piastri. Verstappen is up at the moment. Let's see what Perez can do. And Verstappen goes over the line into second position. Verstappen in P2. Charles Leclerc now trying to get in the mix. Perez has done the fastest first sector of anyone so far. The driver under pressure. Charles Leclerc comes over the line. It's P3 at the moment. Perez is rapid. He's really quick. Look, over a tenth quicker than Norris through two sectors. It could be Perez. Sonoda hey. goes to third position ahead of Piastri, ahead of Leclerc. Still Ricardo, Hamilton, Sainz and Russell to come. 
Ricardo goes into fifth place. What can Perez do across the line? Sergio Perez, third. He's third at the moment, but Lewis Hamilton is in the mix. He's still gunning for it at the front of the field. Norris, Verstappen, Perez at the front at the moment. Sainz is seventh. Hamilton, a three-time winner around this circuit, looking to improve. It's only fourth. It's only fourth. The man last year who won the sprint, won the Grand Prix, is the one that can deny Lando Norris his first shootout win of the year. Check and flag out, George Russell to the line, ahead of his teammate, but not ahead of Perez, not ahead of Verstappen, and not ahead of Lando Norris. That's P1, P1, well done, great job. Wow. <laughs> well done, I guess. I don't know why I feel so bad, but <laughs> so good. The drivers were having to dance around various issues, but Lando Norris has taken P1 at the end of the shootout. He starts a sprint from the front of the field.